Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So something a little bit different today. Now, yesterday Ian asked me whether or not I could create a bespoke piece of artwork to hang in one of the rooms in the new house. Um, and he'd spotted a piece of artwork, this particular piece of artwork, in a local magazine. And this is a magazine which we get here um, in Yorkshire, um, which is a county, if you're not familiar with that. Um, and it's called you know, Living, basically. And this is uh, an advert for um, an art exhibition in Harrogate, which is just to the north of where we live. And he liked this, or one or two of the pieces of artwork that are on, um, or in the magazine. But he wanted to know whether or not I could replicate this. And this has got some crackle on it. In fact, let me turn to the overhead camera and I'll be able to show you it better. Okay. On five, four. Okay, so this is the magazine. So it's the Harrogate edition for Yorkshire Living. Um, and this was February's edition. So, and in here, um, it's got just some um, pictures from the gallery. Um, and this one he particularly liked with all the crackle glaze on it. Let's see if I can just lift it up so you can see it better. So it looks as though there's like um, like grit texture paste on top, there's a gap, and then you've got a big panel of crackle going all the way down. He likes this. I wanted to know whether or not I could recreate something like that um, in greys, blacks, and kind of mustard colours. Well, yes, obviously. Um, and then on this one, he kind of liked the way that you've got this um, small crackle and then you've got the larger crackle on the bottom. Um, and I wasn't really sure how you actually get, I'm not 100% sure how you actually get the large crackle. I think it has to do with the amount of crackle medium that you actually put on. Now, I've got this bottle of acrylic glaze, uh, acrylic crackle glaze here from a company called Polyvine. Um, this was a gift to me um, by my friend Linda um, a while ago. I've used a little bit of it, but not a lot. Um, so I'm going to use this as a tester today on a small canvas just to see whether or not I can get that same kind of crackle effect. Um, so I'm going to use a small canvas here, just make sure that, yeah, that is focused. Um, so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to paint the entire thing um, black. So I'm going to use black gesso and I'm going to paint the entire of this um, canvas black. Then when it's dry I'm going to get some masking tape and I'm going to mask off um, two areas and I'm going to add the crackle glaze, one thinly and one really really thick at one side just to see the kind of um, textured effect that I can get from that. So I'm going to just grab a paintbrush, there's my black gesso and of course, watching somebody paint a canvas completely and utterly pure black is not the most interesting thing to sit and watch. So obviously, um, to spare you the boredom of watching that, I will start it. There you go. And then I will speed through until it's completely covered and completely dry. Okay, so while I was drying that black, my camera went on a complete, um, just went wild. Uh, the auto exposure kicked in and it all bleached everything out around the outside because of the blackness here and it just, oh. Anyway, luckily it wasn't anything um, either interesting or important, important. It was just literally the drying process for the black. Now, just for the sake of transparency, I did go back and do the edges all the way around and I have given the canvas a second coat 
of black gesso. So there you go. Um, so what I need to do now is, let's see, about halfway, get the masking tape. And I want to put a piece of masking tape pretty much about halfway down the canvas. So that, I would say, is pretty much halfway. Um, and I'll just roll that round. I must have still got paint on my fingers. I'll need to just clean that off before I do anything else. Baby wipe, there we go. That means that somewhere there may be some wet paint still. Not so wet baby wipe. Right, and I just want to just make this top half just a little bit smaller than the bottom half. Not by a lot, but maybe by a half again. I'm hoping it's not going to peel off. That should do. Okay, so crackle glaze. Let's see, do I have another spatula, a clean spatula? Yes, I do. Ugh. This should do, this is a number five. As you can see, almost never used, probably never used. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm actually just going to pour the crackle glaze because I want lots of the crackle on here. So I'm going to trowel it on. I did say I wanted a lot. <laughs> I'm going to take it to the edge. I wonder if it just goes over the edge a little bit. That's fine, it will pull towards the middle, no doubt. Add a little bit more. That should do me. I did say I wanted some big crackles on this side. Almost like icing. Take that over the edge a little bit. Now, I don't know how long this is going to take to dry. I'm not quite sure. Now, I'm hoping that that's going to find its own level. If it does drip over the sides then that's okay, don't mind that. And then I'm going to grab a brush just clean that off and then on this side I'm going to paint the crackle glaze on. So not quite as thick. I'm only going to go in one direction. Make sure it's all covered. I will take this round down the edges. I'm 
Okay, drop that in water and now I'm going to let that sit and dry naturally. So you can see there's quite a lot of the crackle glaze or the crackle medium on there. So like I said, I'm just going to sit and let that dry on its own. Hopefully it won't take too long. I'll be back when it is. So it's been about half an hour to three quarters of an hour. Now according to the instructions on the crackle glaze, it says drying time 15 minutes to one hour depending on temperature and humidity. I'm presuming that also depends on the thickness that you're actually putting the crackle glaze down at. This side where I only painted the crackle glaze on is dry, completely dry. Um, but this side where I put it on a lot thicker, as you can see, is still very much wet. So I'm going to leave it for another hour or two just to let it dry on its own. I'm not even going to be tempted to heat set it and just see what happens. So I shall leave that as it is and come back to it again in a little while. The time is now um, approximately, he says, one o'clock. So approximately six minutes past one. So I'll come back at round about half past two, give it an hour and a half extra and we'll see what happens. Right, it's now quarter past two in the afternoon and we're pretty much dry. That's just where the crackle glaze had pooled a little bit on there. But as you can see, I've, put, I've taken the masking tape off and it's seeped underneath just a little bit. So what I'm going to do, just to kind of try and mitigate that, is I'm just going to put some masking tape back on the other side. Just give it a bit of a push and then I'm going to go back over this little section here with some black gesso just to kind of reiterate that line again if you get my drift. So just put a little bit of it on top there. So I'll just clean off my brush, grab the gesso, and just go back over it again. That should get rid of that crackle glaze or if anything it might actually just start to crackle at the top. We'll see, won't we? But somehow I don't think it will. But if it does, it'll be interesting because that means that the crackle glaze might not work over the top of the gesso. <laughs> okay, so perhaps we should have used black acrylic paint to start off with. Well, we won't know until we try it, will we? Like I said, this is a tester piece anyway. Okay. Mm, still see it a little bit, but we'll see what happens. Now, because We'll put gesso over the top. Don't know, but let's see what happens when we actually add paint. Okay, I'm going to put Dina Wakely Elephant over the top of that to start off with. I'm just going to let that sit and cool for a minute or two before I do that. Okay, so the gesso has dried but you can still see the crackle paste underneath, but it hasn't reacted, which is good. Okay, so the first coat of paint I'm gonna put on is gonna be this side here with the least crackle paint on it. So I'm going to use um, Elephant, Dina Wakely Elephant, which is a gray color. So I'm going to just literally squirt the paint on and then take a brush Uh, clean brush preferably. As clean as I'm gonna get it. <laughs> and then literally just um, apply the paint like so.
and see what happens. As you can see, it's already started to crackle up there, which is good. It shows that the crackle paste actually, the crackle glaze actually does work. Okay. So let's just try and see if we can get some down the edges. Because we did have a little bit of crackle going down the edge. I didn't really use that much on this side. Let it run down, it might just pick up the interesting. Hmm. Okay. So where we've applied the paint thickest you've got some of the bigger crackles it's like magic okay so we've got the yellow ochre so let's get that down this will be interesting let's see if we can do this really really quickly get it spread out Looks like toffee. Does, doesn't it? Mmm. <laughs> you're supposed to go with the grain, aren't you? Is that the one with the least on? No, this is the one with the most on. Right. So I'm hoping this is going to be the one that's got the biggest crackle effect. Well, that's a big crackle on the other one. I know, and that's that was the one with the least crackle glaze on it, which is a bit weird. Mm. But maybe it'll take because this has got longer. So does it continue to crackle as it dries, or does it just stop? Um, I don't know enough about it. I'm presuming it, as it dries. The crackles will get worse. Or better. Well, I suppose. <laughs> or maybe it won't work at all on this side. It's like the funeral then. <laughs> it started to go around the edges, but uh, there's, there's some breaking just happening here. But we'll see. We will see. So that's the top bit. Can you see the top bit, Ian? Yes. Is that the kind of size of the crackles you were talking about? Mm, no, smaller than that, but all look generally all over. You <sighs> can't win, can you? No. It's odd, the fact that the one with the most crackle on it isn't really crackling. But we'll see. I shall leave that to go. I might just leave it recording and see if we can do it in fast forward. Ooh. Time lapse. That'd be interesting. Okay, I'm going to leave it recording. I think actually I'm going to run out of space on the memory card before this records the full thing. So what I'll do is I'll just turn the camera off and then I'll show you it after it's been left for a good few hours. Um, it's starting to crack along the edges and I'm wondering whether it's because I applied the crackle glaze with a spatula rather than a brush. That could be, but there may be a way around it. This one's done some real big ones, even though I only put a small amount of crackle glaze on that. So, but that looks like it's still wet and still, um, still reacting, so I'm not going to touch that. But I'm going to leave this for a good couple of hours. I'll come back after we've had our evening meal. Okay, so it's been a good couple of hours now since um, since I left it. 
and as you can see there's been some crackling but not a huge amount so I think it's because I put it on with a spatula rather than a brush. If you look at the one that I put on with a brush it's gone all the way including down the sides um, and I've got some real decent big size crackles in there but when I put it on with a spatula not so much it's cracked you know pretty much down at the edges and around about here but nowhere else so I think further investigation and further playing is called for before I think I can master the art of the crackle so that's it for me today I um, hope you've enjoyed that if you have please remember to give it a thumbs up share the video with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel already you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video like I said at the beginning of this one so that's all from me I will see you all again very very soon bye for now I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you.